This episode is brought to you by Tim Hortons, located at 3760 Bull de Source and 305 Brunswick Street in Point Claire, Quebec. Tim Hortons, always fresh, toujours frais. Fake Pokemon cards that continue to fool Pokemon collectors. A Mona Lisa rookie card from Topps Chrome that is sending a lot of negative vibes from collectors. Panini World Cup stickers are a success this year and scarily low values for recent quarterbacks in football. All that and more in Collector News with Ange. What's up guys, welcome back to Collector News with Ange. I'm your host, Ange. I love to collect things and tell you guys about the hottest news in the hobby, in the sports card and trading card world, guys. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We're doing a giveaway very soon, guys, at 1,250 subscribers. We're currently at 1,248, so we're getting there very quickly. All right, guys, for this week's episode of Collector News with Ange, we are starting off by talking about the, the increasing amount of people saying that they buy fake Pokemon cards, that's right, counterfeit, not real, from some reputable sellers uh, and stores, some of them even being close to real Pokemon cards. Uh, basically, there is a rash of fake counterfeit Pokemon packs that look exactly like, let's say, a Battle Styles pack that you're buying. It looks exactly like it. But when you look at the cards, you can tell that they're, the printing is a bit different. And some of the cards that should be shiny are not shiny. So I find I've been seeing it on Instagram. Recently, I saw somebody, a collector on Instagram that bought fake cards. He said he was gonna go complain. But anyways, guys, uh, be very careful when buying uh, Pokemon cards. I would buy them from very big stores um, or maybe even ask somebody to get a second opinion or something. But this is getting really scary with the amount of people saying they bought fake Pokemon cards. So. Be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, uh, Topps recently released a Mona Lisa with the Topps rookie card logo, which is sending collectors into a tailspin, guys. They are extremely uh, upset that Topps put this rookie card. Now, the reason is that there has already been cards of Mona Lisa. For example, in 2011, Heritage made a rookie card, not a rookie card, but made a card of Mona Lisa. Uh, and then Proset made a, uh, a card of Mona Lisa in 1992, which is technically the rookie card. So it's kind of like a mockery to the hobby. I want to thank Victor, the rookie card specialist, for this story. I did see it on his channel. So I thought that, uh, I, I honestly think it's stupid. I really think it's stupid that they put rookie card on Mona Lisa when that is not her first card in the hobby, guys. So I find that really, really, really low from Tops. All right, guys. The World Cup is coming and I told you guys the Panini World Cup Qatar stickers are a huge success this year and we're seeing a lot more collectors getting into it. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that it is the first year that there are rookie variations. You know those borders that are colored guys like blue, green and black for one on one. They're basically trying to replicate uh, big tops and Panini uh, or football, basketball, big products that have these big hits, right? So they're trying to replicate that and it's working very well, guys. Uh, I hope you guys know that the first ever Panini sticker collection was from Mexico 1970. So if you're looking to collect all the stickers, you gotta go all the way back to the 1970 Mexico World Cup, guys. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is in football. Uh, I saw this actually on a YouTube channel. He was talking about the quarterbacks, the recent quarterbacks, like the Joe Burrows, uh, the Josh Allens, the, or even more recent, like Jalen Hurts and everything, uh, they, like, they were basically complaining about the values of these recent quarterbacks, uh, obviously compared to older quarterbacks, guys. Now, this is a very normal thing to do, and it's obvious that people that have been in the league longer, uh, their cards are older, they're harder to get, of course, they're worth more. Uh, but I do find it kind of weird how low the rookie cards of big quarterbacks uh, in the recent years have been. So that's a bit scary. It is Halloween, guys. So that's a bit scary that the values are low. Anyways, happy Halloween, by the way, guys. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about, guys, is the release this week of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ma Magnificent Mavens, guys. Uh, we're going to be opening that. There's so many amazing reprints. 
So if you're a big Yugo fan, you might want to watch it this week, probably Wednesday or Thursday. All right, guys, I'm Ange, and I'm done with the collector news. Take care, guys. Ciao. Ciao.